elementary school is one of the first major connections a child has with the world of knowledge. Through school, a child is introduced to the fundamental principle on which learning is based, reading. A child spends the first three years of school learning to read. It is after this a child will read to learn. If a child does not learn to read properly, his entire future will be affected. Key in learning to read is having good vision. It's estimated that 75 to 90 percent of all classroom learning comes to the student via visual pathways. If there is an interference with these pathways, then a child will experience difficulty with learning. This is why testing of a child's vision is so important. For most children, an eye exam consists of a simple 2020 sight test. If a problem is discovered, glasses are prescribed. But for some children, this is not enough. A child may have 2020 sight and still have a vision problem. Herein lies the difference between sight and vision. Sight is the ability to see and the eye's response to light, basically one of our five senses. Vision is the ability to identify, interpret, and understand what is seen. Vision involves the eyes, the brain, and the body working together as a team. Visual skills build on each other in a step-by-step -step process as a child grows. If a step is missed or not completed, then a vision problem develops. Vision problems are easily and quickly treated in 90% of all cases. The treatment, diagnosis of the problem by a behavioral optometrist, followed by a prescribed method of vision training. Vision training improves and enhances a child's visual performance when corrective lenses are not enough to alleviate the problem. The most common vision problems, eye movement, eye teaming, eye hand coordination, and visual form perception can be treated through visual training. Eye movement should be second nature. These skills are used to accurately aim the eyes to either focus on a fixed object or follow a moving object. Eye movements need to be smooth and steady, like in following a line of print across a page. If they are not, a child concentrates on the skill of reading and not learning. Students with psychotic movement problems are so concerned with keeping their place, they don't retain any of the information they've read. There are several methods used by behavioral optometrists to correct eye movement skills. Two of these methods are the peripheral ring fixation and psychotic fixation training. It's a red and white target with numbers on it. And we'll start the training with the child perhaps having one eye covered and following the red spot right in the center. The spot has no meaning, so all the child has to do is concentrate on the red spot. And at that point, when those eye movements are smooth, we will then have the child start looking at numbers or calling out numbers, making the eye movements a little bit more difficult. So he has to think a little bit while he's moving his eyes. Psychotic fixation is an eye movement technique that is used to treat the child who has problems at the end of the line. Uh, when a child has to spend a lot of energy keeping his eyes moving smoothly, and to him it would look like he's not keeping his place, then his ability to comprehend what he's reading is greatly reduced because he's very, very busy trying to keep his place. The brain's ability to gather information received from each eye separately and form a single unified image is eye-teaming. On the computer, there we use several targets, a car or a horse, and there are actually two cars or two horses on the computer screen at any one time, one blue and one red. The child is holding a joystick and can separate the horse or the car in either direction to make his eyes either converge, come in, or diverge and go out. And you can actually practice these eye movements and improve them and make your reading or close work much more efficient. Children with eye teaming problems are usually said to be clumsy, uncoordinated, and always appear to run into things. People will come and say, well, Johnny's always tripping over something, and we know his gross motor skills are a problem. We have a number of exercises to do for gross motor skills. The hand is an instrument of vision. The, hand, the eye steers the hand. And if you don't have a good coordination between the two, things like handwriting will suffer. For instance, in the bat and ball exercise, 
we have the ball moving back and forth, the child is watching and moving his eyes and getting feedback through his sensory because he's feeling that ball and he's pushing up against it. So I really steers hand and if you're going to become a good baseball player or a good golfer, the eye again has to steer that movement. A child's first symbols are images and pictures which allow him to mentally interpret reality. This skill allows the child to relate his primary experience to the pictures and words he sees on the printed page of his classroom books. The true purpose of visual form perception is the immediate and accurate discrimination of visible likenesses and differences, so comprehension can be immediately followed by appropriate actions. Frequently a problem is blamed on poor memory or carelessness about details. The most common signs a teacher can observe is confusion of similarities or the inattention to important slight differences. The next most common sign is reversal of letter forms or sequences in words. We use a number of techniques, usually form boards, puzzles, size blocks. We have a number of things that we can use to test this. And a child should be able to take a form board and take pieces and, and place it into the form board and know what shape matches what shape. There are a number of statistics on the relationship between vision and learning and I would say probably 80 percent of learning coming through the vision system is, is about the median figure. Because vision is learned, no two people see exactly alike. Seeing is as individual as walking or talking. Vision, however, is a bit more difficult. As a child learns to talk, he compares his speech with those around him, but as he learns to see, he has no way to compare his vision. This is why children have an especially difficult time communicating their problem. They don't even know they have one. How can you recognize a child's vision problem? There are several indicators to be aware of. A book held very close to the eyes. The child often has trouble with ball games. Poor handwriting, especially reversal of letters in words or word sequences in sentences. Excessive squinting or covering one eye to read. Fingers used to trace lines in books. Vision screening performed at an early age can eliminate these problems. Without it, a child can go an entire lifetime never knowing they have a vision problem. They may experience headaches and find reading slow and difficult, comprehension near impossible. With vision screening and training, a child is made aware of what their eyes are doing wrong and the problem is corrected. Concerned parents and teachers need to recognize vision as an important factor in learning. Good vision for many children is the difference between failure and success in school.